and welcome back. Of course, we're up in the Grace Kitchen, aka Sharon's Kitchen, <laughs> for another segment of Grace and You. Good morning. Morning. I am ready to cook. Well, definitely. We, what we have here today is um, with the Easter coming on, you know, uh -huh. people want something a little bit different for dessert to put on the table. You know, it's always cake and all that. But today what we have is flan. Flan. Yeah. All so, right. So uh, we're going to be making flan. And um, what we're going to be doing here is use, all of this is all Grace product that we, that's, we're just using that Including for the Grace eggs, because we have special <laughs> Grace, Grace eggs. Chicken that lay <laughs> just great eggs. Okay, so what we have here is two thin of uh, condensed milk, okay. two thin of evaporating milk. What you could see here that I'm using one of each of the, okay. the, the fill and the, the regular milk. Right? I don't quite understand what's the difference between the two. Well, one, one is less fat. Okay. So that's, that's what's the difference. So what we're going to be doing here is just pour that in here. In the meanwhile, what, we, what you can do for All me... Right, let me be of service in here. Turn this on, and we're going to be melting some sugar. Okay, that I can handle. And we, you need just a little bit of oil, like a, a tablespoon of oil in there. Okay. And then you put that sugar in there. Make it have a that is, is enough? Just a little bit more. Okay. And <laughs> be careful, be careful. <laughs> I'm being a klutz today in the <laughs> kitchen, but that happens. Come on, come on. You all know this. <laughs> so um, what we're going to be doing there is uh, making a, a, a glaze. We're going to okay, the yeah. glaze. Okay, That's okay. Right. So we're going to have that melted. Just the sugar, yeah. While I add all them. It's a big here. spoon for this small pot. <laughs> go. Now you can also can. use butter if you prefer. You could use butter. You could. Okay. Um, Margin. And you could also uh, put uh, the sugar, like grease the pan and put the sugar in there and put it in your oven okay. and have it melted. All right. But you could do it on the stove as well. So there you go. And I have to so make sure it doesn't burn. Yeah. Just keep stirring it until it melts down. So, so it's pretty easy. It's just two condensed milk, two evaporating milk. Okay. And what yeah. you're going to do with the milk that you, you put there now? Well, we're going to put this on a uh, low speed. You need a okay. hand mixer. Okay. And we're going to mix it in. Now what we're going to add here is some nutmeg extract. And that's a Benjamin. This oh, is a nutmeg extract. Yeah. Okay. And and for the there's people that likes to use the the regular nutmeg, nutmeg which yeah, yeah. but and there's also people don't like the little um grittiness of that's it. That's right. Yeah. So we'll be using this, and of course you can use your regular nutmeg for people that don't care. Um, so we're going to be putting a tablespoon of that in here. There you go. All right, I think this has melted. Yeah, you can hold it and just okay. set it aside. So I'm done. Let so me make sure. So we have some vanilla here, also the Benjamin um, vanilla, and that's a tablespoon as well. Okay. So we have nutmeg and we have vanilla so far. And what we have here is some rum essence. Okay. And that's two tablespoons. And it smells like rum. Yeah, that's right there. Now, and then and we're going to be slowly putting in about putting seven eggs. This is eight eggs. Eight eggs. Yeah. And that's what holds it together. Okay. Uh oh. It's out. It's just bubbling. So we beat this until all the eggs is um just mix in. Okay. And it's Pretty just gentle. Yes. You don't want it to be now, spilling all over the Now, can you, for example, place. for some people who are a little bit more health con conscious, not use the yolks and just use the egg white? Of course. Uh, like I said, the egg is what holds it together, but um, the egg white will do the same, the same thing. Okay. So there we go. And pretty much this is it. Okay. It doesn't take a whole lot. So that's it for the flan? 
And then uh, once we're gonna you've be beaten it, yeah. Yeah, we beat this real well, get all the eggs uh, waste away. Uh huh. And then we get, you have a, a baking dish. Uh, we have a baking dish right there, and you want to okay. get that. Make sure. And what you'll do with that is pour some oil in there. Just a little bit of oil. There you go. Okay, let me. I'm sorry. I'm being kind of destructive in the kitchen today. I'm having a Marlene moment <laughs> in the kitchen. <laughs> Just make sure it's nice and greased. I need to add some more. Okay. There you go. All right. Okay. And what you're going to do is uh, pour your, your glaze in there, in okay. the bottom of that. I'm just making sure I put it around. Okay. Is that enough? That's it. Okay. And then and this spread is that the, all, all the way the into glaze. the glaze. Now, how do you know if the glaze is overcooked? Well, you don't want it to burn. You just want the, 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 the sugar to melt. There you go. Okay. That's pretty much okay. Okay. And then what we're going to do here... Let's actually dump that in now. And pour that in there. Okay, let me do that. There you go. There you go. Okay. And that, we would be uh, putting that in the oven for like uh, 25 minutes on okay, 350 then. degrees. Ooh. Careful. Go. All right, let's do it in the oven. Okay, so it's it's pretty easy, and these um these essent can as people would be um be making their crust bun for the Easter. So we have all the essence essence that, uh, flavors that flavors flavors yeah. that they could um add to that um crust bun. And we want to mention also since it's um. It's pretty hot, and the Easter holiday is going to be hot. That we have all the the dollar juice and the coconut water and um, well, the all the coconut grace, water is my thing. That's right, all the grace product. Um, and this is what it would look like when all it's right. all said and done. And this is the flan. Of course, through the magic of television, we've even changed the shapes. And it's <laughs> it's pretty good. Um, it's pretty good cold real you know chill and now, do you do anything else special to it in terms of topping usually people that's the glaze that settles at the bottom that's How long? right 25 minutes 25 and minutes for 350 and then you will lower it to 250 and leave it there until you could um, stick it and it's all dried okay in the middle and um, what people will usually do is put okay. some uh, some cinnamon and sugar on the top okay but we have a little twist to it today and what we're going to be using here this is um this is Cool Whip, and what we did, we put a little bit of a uh, grace coconut powder in there. Right. So that gives it uh, a little coconut um, flavor. flavor to it. So what we're going to be doing here, let's, let's make a slice. Okay. Play here. And you could do the honor of... Sampling it. Sampling it. Let's get a knife here. There it's you go. big knife. So you need it to, to pick it up with. Okay. Do I go all the way through the middle? Yeah, you could cut it any way you like, William. <laughs> <laughs> all right. There and let you go. Me take a little sliver here. It's really good. Like I said, it's really good chill. Uh, use a fork. I can't get it. I can't get it. All right, I'll take a bigger piece so I, I look more like a professional. There all right, you there you go. Okay. And then you can scoop a little bit of the. You just put this here. The cool whip right on the top. Right on top. And there you go. And there you have it, flan a la Sharon a la Grace. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like I said, it's something different for the Easter. And it's cool, served it's cool. It's really nice and cool with the hot weather. You don't want anything too hot, so I guess people could try that and enjoy. All right. Well, Sharon, thank you for sharing. Welcome, uh, anytime. The flan with us. And of course, remember, Grace products 
for the Easter uh, vacations. They make everything better. It's like I said, there's so much uh, drinks out uh, that people could try over the holidays. You know, uh, the syrup is pretty good with crushed ice. It's like you're doing your own snow cones. Yeah, or slush. Slush. Yeah. So there's a whole lot going on there with the drinks. So enjoy Grace. the Easter and um, be safe. All right, you too, Sharon. Okay. Have a blessed Easter. Okay. We're going to go ahead and take a taste and a break. <laughs>